Hi, this is Steve with Double Reno Woodworking. So today in VCard Pro, I'm going to show you how to use the chamfer toolpath and put a, a nice chamfer on the edge of a board and I'll even show you how you can do it inside of a pocket and we even put a little bit of a chamfer on some of our lettering to kind of give it a 3D effect. Uh, this will work in VCard Pro, it'll work in VCard Desktop, and it'll work in Aspire. Um, and probably this is one of the newer versions, but I'm sure it works in the older versions too. So let's get in the program and get started. So we're going to do our setup here. So we're going to do a single sided board. We're going to do 20 by 80, I'm sorry, 20 by 8 to start with on our board. And I'm going to go ahead and do this with a profile. You can do it with or without a profile, but we'll go ahead and do it with a profile cut. So my finished board will be a little smaller than that. We're going to go three quarters of an inch is thick. We're going to zero to the material surface. And for layout purposes, we're going to go to a, we're going to work off the center. And standard resolution is fine. And our material settings, I got it set to mahogany because it just looks pretty good when you want to view what it's really going to look like on wood. So we hit OK. And so there's our board. OK, so the first thing we want to do is we want to come in and make a rectangle. And our finished board is going to be 19 by 7. So let's just make our triangle 19 by 7. And this will be our, uh, it'll be our profile cut. Plus it will also be the line that we use to do our uh, chamfer with. So we're going to go 19 by 7 on that and hit create. And then we want to do, go ahead while we're doing our triangles. We want to go ahead, let's highlight that one. And let's do an offset. And we're going to offset it by three quarters of an inch inwards. And what that's going to do, let's go ahead and create it, and I'll show you why we're doing that. So we want sharp corners inwards three quarters of an inch. So now we have this offset. So when we do our chamfer, our chamfer is going to eat up a quarter inch of this. And then when we chamfer this one, it's going to eat up a quarter inch this way. So that's going to leave us some meat. So it should be a quarter inch chamfer on each side and a quarter inch left in the middle for a total of the three quarter inches. And that'll all make sense when we start doing our tool paths on it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add some text to this. And we'll go through this part real quick because that's really not what this, this uh, demonstration is about. So we're just going to make the word chamfer. We have this blue text. We're going to go 1.75 inches high. And close. And then we're going to take that and we're going to center it on our board. And we're going to move it, but we're just going to move it up out of the way because we're going to put a second line of text. So let's click off of that and then we're going to go back and we're going to make one more word. I'm just going to do edges. Same thing, blue 1.75 and then close. Okay, so let's take that one and we will align it to the center and bring it down just a little. Sorry. Bring it down just a little where we have a good distance here between our inside border. This is going to be a pocket cut inside here. So we'll grab our word edges and we'll center it and then we'll we'll move that one down. And for this demo, that ought to be good. We got a nice enough edge here for our pocket cut on top of our high and low letters, so that should be fine. So both of those are centered. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is go ahead and start setting up toolpaths. So let's go over, click this right here, go over to our toolpaths. And we're going to start out with, we're going to highlight both of our words and our border box for our pocket cutout. And we're just going to do a simple pocket cut. And I've got this already set up. I've got a quarter inch end mill and a one eighth inch, inch end mill because the quarter inch won't get in some of these tight spots. And I've already test run this one, so an eighth inch will get everywhere we need to go. And we're going to go. Uh, we're going to go a quarter inch deep. And that sounds kind of deep, but I'll show you why. The this depth here, you just have to remember whatever you set this at. You're going to have to remember that number right here for your chamfer cut because you want these to come out the same. So we're going to go with a quarter inch here. Uh, we're on a, uh, we're going to edit our passes. We don't want to do 11 passes. 
this is kind of immaterial. So we're going to do, I'm sorry, we're going to do one pass here. We'll clear all these passes and then we'll do a final pass of 0.02. It's just a clean up pass and apply. Hit OK. OK, so I'm going to do that real quick too. One pass, clear all these passes, set a last pass thickness of 0.02. Okay, so that's all set up. So that's our profile cut, or sorry, that's our pocket cut. So all this other stuff should be good. We're gonna go with a raster, uh, raster climb. We don't need to plunge or anything, or a ramp, ramp plunge or anything. So we're gonna calculate that out. And then we will uh, preview all tool paths. So basically right there, we just have a, a pocket cut on those letters, okay? So we'll close that, and we'll go back into our 2D view. So here's where we start doing the chamfer cuts. So we want to put a chamfer cut on this piece right here. So right over here, you have your chamfer toolpath. So highlight this outside. This is our outside border of our board. That's going to be a profile cut coming off of it later. i tell you what, let's just do our profile cut first because then you, you'll be able to see the, the full effect of the chamfer on here. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do a profile. We're at 0.75 inches, so that's gonna cut all the way through with a quarter inch end mill. Uh, we wanna go outside to the right. You can go outside right to the left, either one, but outside right is fine. We're not gonna put any tabs on it for this demonstration. Uh, depending on how you mount your board, you might wanna put a tab on it. So go ahead and calculate that cut. Let's reset all of our previews, and then we'll preview that toolpath. Okay, so that cut our board out. So let's close that. Go back to our 2D view. Now still highlighted on this, still highlight this outside profile. So now we're ready to put our chamfer cut on. So you come over here to the chamfer toolpath, and start depth is going to be zero, okay? So that this is where it gets kind of confusing. You want your start depth at zero, and you want a 90 degree V-bit, because if you put a 90 degree V-bit, it's gonna give you a 45 degree cut. This right here is gonna be 45 degrees on a 90 degree bit. So you wanna go with a 90 degree V-bit, and then uh, you want your width to be a quarter inch. And when you change that, it changes everything. When you change any one of these numbers, say if I put that to 0.3, it changes all these numbers. So you can pick any one of those and change it to a quarter inch. So it's going to go a quarter inch wide, a quarter inch deep. And that's where we were talking about this three quarters here. It's going to go a quarter inch here. This one's going to go a quarter inch that way and leave a quarter inch in the middle. So that's really all there is to it, setting it up. Start at zero, select a 90 degree V-bit for a chamfer like this. And then uh, this is where, this is the tricky part right here, okay? So you got an inside, outside, and a slope downwards and upwards. And we want to cut right here. It's showing if you're on the outside, right here, it's going to cut the, the sorry, this is hard to explain. So the, the outside means it's going to cut from here this way. If you go outside and upwards, it's going to start here and it's going to cut upwards inside to the board. Okay. And it sounds backwards. To me, it sounds backwards. But let's go ahead and run this toolpath. So if you start on the outside and then you want to slope upwards, it's going to chamfer this direction. So let's just go ahead and try it. Let's calculate it. And we'll clear our other toolpaths or reset our preview. And then now we're going to uh, just preview the chamfer. So if you look, now let's let's go ahead. And let's do our profile cut back again, because it's hard to tell what it did here. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and do our profile cut, and then we can double click that and get rid of that. And so now we've got a perfect 45 degree chamfer, and it's if you look right there on the end, it's a quarter inch from the top to here. It's a quarter inch. That's a half inch left. So it's a quarter inch down and a quarter inch in. Okay, so that was a outside 
upward slope for that. Okay, so let's close that. Now we can go back and we can put a chamfer on this one. So we, now we've got this pocket cut out. We want to chamfer this one up too. So this one's going to be a little different. So we're going to go back to our chamfer toolpath with this one highlighted. This one we're going to be cutting from the inside because we want to chamfer from the inside out. Okay, so we go inside and we still want to slope upwards. That means it's going to, from where you start cutting, it's going to be climbing up. So it's going to start here, it's going to climb up to here. So let's go ahead and calculate that toolpath. And then let's go ahead and let's just run, let's just run all toolpaths. So we got all of our toolpaths selected. And we'll go ahead and preview all toolpaths. And so now what we have, let's find a good angle where you can see this. So right there we have a chamfer from the outside going up and we have a chamfer from the inside going up and that leaves us a half inch of meat on top of that right there. So that's basically how you do just your chamfered edges, but there's one more thing that we can do too, is that we can chamfer our letters. Because if you look at our letters, they're just perfectly square up at the top. So I'm going to show you. I'll do them. I'll do them one at a time, so you can see the difference in them. Okay. So let's go back to our 2D view, and let's highlight the word chamfer. Close that out. Go back to our chamfer toolpath. Now you don't. If you chamfer this all the way down, and let's see on the letters, I think we want to go outside again because we want to go from the outside upwards this way. So outside this way. So we're going outside and upwards for our letters again. Now, if we leave this at a quarter inch, it's going to take it all the way. It's going to end up eating up most of these letters. So we don't want to go that deep. So let's try, uh, let's try 10 one thousandths of an inch. Let's see, oh, still want to keep that highlighted. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and calculate that with 10 one thousandths. And let's go ahead and just preview that toolpath. Uh, that was too much. I don't know why it does that. I think the, the bit doesn't pick up high enough, but that can be fixed in the settings. But I think when I did this before, so let's let's alter that one and change that to 0.05. I think that's what I went with before. I just couldn't remember for sure. So let's go ahead and uh, reset our preview. And we'll go ahead and just preview all the toolpaths again. Okay, let's double click and get rid of that. So now we have that little chamfer, that little five one thousandths of an inch chamfer on those top letters. And if you look at it, especially looking at it straight on, it really, it kind of gives that more of a 3D effect. So that's the difference between the chamfer on the letters and not on the letters. I really like the look of it on there. So let's go ahead and just go back to our 2D view. And we'll do that one real quick. Everything should be the same. So it should be easy to run. We're going to go starting at 0, uh, 0.05 inches outside sloping upwards so we're going to start from here slope upwards towards that so we'll go ahead and calculate that one and then we'll uh, go ahead and just do all tool pass so there we have it so we've got a chamfer on the outside of the board you can do any or all of these different things with a the chamfer there's just a lot of stuff you can do with it but to me, it really it gives the board kind of a three-dimensional look. So if you look right here, we got a chamfer outside there, a chamfer from our pocket going up, and then we got a little chamfer on all of our letters. It really makes it pop. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you do, give me a thumbs up and uh, share my videos. Subscribe. I appreciate you watching, and I'll have some more of these coming up soon. Thank you. Bye.